Welcome back, everyone, <clears throat> to another uh, Hearts of Iron 4, Netherlands, whatever. And this time we are gonna be. Mm, I should have. Well, I've made some. Mis I've made a mistake. Blah 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 blah. I don't know the words of this song. Anyway, um, yeah. Welcome back. So we're trying to hold our extended front line. But that might not be possible. We might have to run away. Although, uh, there is worse. Uh, we are going to lose Dunkirk. Thankfully, we didn't get Dunkirked. And yeah, obviously the Germans have managed to retake this, this place, which um, you saw last time happen. However, uh, the last time we also managed to get our first taste of what encircling Germany looks like, so that was that was very good. And now we are trying to make more of that happen. So I will get back to you if anything interesting is going on, but so far it isn't, so yeah. Hmm, these people really want me to join against the United States, but I will not, because fuck them. The Japanese are sinking seven convoys of I do not know who. How interesting. How interesting. And Nigeria is helping me defend the East Indies, so that's quite fine. Uh, looks like we're gonna essentially be free from the Japanese annoyances in the near future, which is great. Uh, looks like the Soviets plus the Allies are really pushing into China and Manchuria. They're gonna soon take Korea, which might prompt the Japanese surrender, which is very nice. Uh, we are, however, still very much in the business of dealing with the German Empire. God damn it, these German cavalry divisions are annoying. But, hey, at least things are going a little bit better right now. You guys over here. Are you sure you want to go there? Whatever. Fine. If you want to go there, do so. Be a man and do it. Our last little bit of uh, liberated France, Lille, is about to be retaken by the Italian hordes. Oh well, it's honestly fine as long as we can keep up the pressure on the Germans. Bloody Jamaica. Oh, shit. Here comes the Yugoslavs. How many tanks are left in our tank division? Oh, 75 and 43. So it's still... Still usable, to say the least. And we have to retake in Hanover. Very nice. So that's a lot of factories for our... Uh, for our Kaiserly friend. And that's a lot less factories for the Fuhrer. Very nice. Damn, uh, the fall of Baku hasn't like completely destroyed the Soviet Union. I'm thinking because, yeah, look at that. There's like a million allied troops coming in, so perhaps that is going to continue uh, propping up the Soviets for a long, long time. And that would be great for us, actually. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Oh wow, Leo is surviving. That's quite good. However, we are about to lose this chunk of Wallonia, which would be pretty bad. Let's see if we can get our guys to reinforce. before it is too late. Damn, we've actually managed to see some Maginot line, it looks like. Yeah, Metz and uh, from south of it. So look at that, 10 level, level 10 forts. That is very nice. Oh shit, that would be very bad. That would be very bad if they were able to break through. 
They shouldn't be able to, but it would be terrible if they did. Don't have enough command power to order a last stand. I could, however, order last stand on, you know, this army, so that's good. Yeah, it looks like Leo will finally be... Ah, just saved on the last moment again. Prince Bernard are involved in a bloody scandal, of course. Now I'll get my tanks... back a little bit so that they can replenish organization. Oh. Ah, oh, well. See, it looked like for one bloody second... For one bloody second, they were gonna get... Uh, whatchamacallit. They were gonna get unengaged, but no, wasn't the case. Oh man, look at these divisions. These Italian divisions, uh, divisions are in such a bad way. Okay, so he seems to be in a moment of panic. Well, panic, I'm, I'm not sure, he's confused. He's moving his troops around. Let me then... Let me then exploit this. And cut off Denmark. Oh, come on. Are you telling me that you cannot defeat the cavalry divisions? Of course you can. Come on. Don't be... don't be idiotic. Well, why are you not helping the Brits out? Idiot. Come on, are you still telling me that the Panzer Division is so bloody worthless? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're about to liberate Kiel and oh god. This is exactly what I was worried about. My stupid allies... Or stupid allies, uh, my stupid army, really. Not really helping my allies, and of course Prince Bernard is wounded. Right? Put these guys under their misery. Uh, we're about to get encircled. Okay, we are not about to get encircled. Very good. Very good. And we have managed to also seal the gap. Very nice. Our southern front still not looking as best as it, uh, as best as well as it could be, but it's definitely better than it used to be. We're in an okay-ish spot, to say the least. Yeah, do that. Forts! Forts are good. The fact that we are not able to break through this province is angering me greatly. Oh wow, the United Kingdom has actually managed to push into Italy, like, decently. So this should definitely distract the Italians. Yeah, their troop counts 
near me has lowered by quite a bit, which is very good considering that the pressure from the Italians was starting to become quite difficult to deal with. Quite difficult indeed. See if you can just push east with all you've got. Alright, come on. Come on. Let us continue on. I don't care about the strip of marsh. I care about cutting Denmark off. Norway was never conquered, which is very good to see. Come on. Uh, they just keep pouring in more divisions, which is making it real difficult for us. For us. Anywhere that needs help? Well, <laughs> all the allies do need help, but nowhere on our front, really. We're about to get the light tank one. So yeah, the tank production is moving along just fine. Part of the force will go for Kiel, part of the force will go for here. Come on boys, get that cut off, once and for all. Oh wow, well done. Looks like the Brits are moving in. And the Germans are moving out. Which is always good to see. Okay, almost got the cutoff. There we go. So Kurosawa Refineries. So that unlocks World Dutch Shell. Very nice. And um, now we can get the Bauxite Mines, which is going to be very, very strong because... Yeah, look at that. We're going to be able to just not trade aluminum, which is very nice. And alright, we have achieved total breakthrough. So that's obviously quite great. Oh crap. Somehow. No 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 no. Whoa. Are you stupid? Somehow. Somehow they're managing to break the defense. All right. Get those reinforcements in. And then circle Kiel. Thus solidifying the encirclement. Hopefully. How many divisions are in here? Three. One of them is Yugoslavian, so yeah. Not exactly our main target, but fine nonetheless. Their axis. And uh, if we can take control of. Uh, Denmark, we get the Straits and then we can harass the Baltic. Looks like the British have already taken Sjeland, but you know, that's not really doing anything useful. Not at all. Oh, they've left Kiel. That's pretty good. Okay, so two divisions should be more than enough to deal with the remnants of all of this. Yeah, you're trying to attack. Oh no, that's actually not Maginot Line. That's cavalry, but it is a lot of cavalry, so probably we cannot break through. Sad. Very sad. Wait, what? They actually managed to repel this? Oh, they brought in division with actual lines tank. 
How sad. How many of you are there? That's a lot. And you're getting supplied. Actually, I mean, I'm gonna trust my allies on this. I think they can do a fine job of maintaining order here. Okay, finished land doctrine tree. We're starting to get the air tree. We have finished what we need of the naval tree. I guess we just get upgrades now for our weapons. That is very nice. So a big chunk of Germany has been liberated. Uh, soon though we can we can expand this chunk. Maybe to include Berlin? Who knows? No oh, crap. We're about to lose crucial territory. Ah, well. Let's see if we can defeat all the people that are trying to gain control of it again. Yeah, seems like it. Getting a decent amount. We're still producing that light tank? Yeah, we are. 200 light tanks. Wait, hold on. United Ireland? What? Oh, decolonization. Right. Right, decolonization. Okay, can I get, like... No, who was it? Canada, Canada, Canada. License production. Yeah, no. I was trying to see if they had... Yeah, they still hate me. I was trying to see if I could get some self-propelled artillery, but it's not the case. Hmm, I have motorized artillery, but not motorized... Uh, motorized. Which is kind of weird, to say the least. Oh wait, we don't have motorized. Are you kidding me? Well, we should have used that, because we've probably captured, yeah, a fair amount of motorized. You know, because of that, we should probably give some motorized to Germany. And some of their... Some of their tanks that are getting captured. Wait. I wish I could just, like, give... I wish I could just give seven of them. You know, all of them. Can I do that? No. I just need to remember how many there are. And my goodness, this is going to be incredibly annoying to do. Yeah, so that my good friend can uh, replenish his armor division. Alrighty then. And I can give him some water ice too. Yeah. Now what do you need exactly? What else do you need? You should need infantry equipment. You need support equipment. Yeah, okay, so I just I'm just gonna need to give him some more stuff. I need to be more of a better overlord. Alright, improved submarine model. Very good. But oh, I've got 75 Navy experience. That's just way less than what I would want. Let's research first the 1944 hull. Because we can do that. Mexico's pretty desperate about the whole situation. Understandably so. Alright, actually, it seems like we are superior on pretty much the entirety of the front. The fall of Stalingrad. Is that the end of the Soviets? 
got 90% stability and 100% war support, so... That might... Might still not be enough? Who knows? Uh, all of Korea has been taken and Japan has not surrendered, so that's pretty bad. And of course... How the fuck is that... How? Explain this to me! What the fuck are you talking about? There, what? How is this possible? Full naval fucking superiority. People on convoy raiding. And yet these mother truckers are somehow able to scrounge together. I almost got capitulated from that. Just because I kind of just looked randomly somewhere and was able to spot this. Am I not gonna get fucking demolished by this? That is really freaking annoying. Jesus fucking Christ, what a mess. So just 10 Spanish divisions out of nowhere managed to land through my entire defensive naval screen. Yeah, look at that. He sunk the fucking convoys. Too fucking late though. I mean, okay, okay, that's actually pretty good, because these guys do not get... Now they do not get supplied, so it doesn't matter that they have a fort. They do not get supplied. Let's see, uh, he's got anti-tank. What an annoying piece of shit. 